What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Surfields TV. Today, we got y'all with another reaction. Crazy X won't leave man alone. Instantly regrets it. Make sure y'all drop a sub. Hit that like button. Let's get straight into it. Yeah, in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess we have this man in the car. He's trying to riz up some girl. He's trying to get with her. And I guess she just doesn't find him attractive, and that's just not her type. Now, the crazy part is, as he starts talking more and more, it starts getting a bit sus. I'm starting to think that this guy may be a bit too feminine, and it can kind of go both ways if you guys get what I mean. Just take my number, bro. Just take my number. Uh, my name's Jamal. Number 443. I don't want your number. Why? I don't because I don't. I'm not interested. All right, but you already know I'm trying to. It does not matter what you want. I don't want to. No. Bro, Tell him. Come on now. No. Bro, you tripping, no. You no. Just let me talk Can you, you get off me? No, nah, bro. What are you touching me for? No, no I'm, I'm not. Fuck, bro. I'm not interested. You're not my type. Period. Like, you're not Beyonce. Wait, how? Why is he in your car? Cause she looks like she in a passenger seat. That's the first question. Why is he in your car if he not your type? First of all, and then you not Beyonce is crazy. You don't fucking man for like Beyonce that, or not. You're you asking me for something, right? You never came You're here, asking bro. me, right? Play this up. I'm only here because my mother keeps asking me to have a baby. For real, for real. So don't give all that. Just take me to home. I don't even care. Do you got like me? Cause I need to smoke my cigarette. You can catch the bus. That's why I can't do kind. They do too much and then when you smack ah, your ass is a surprise and this last clip is it's absolutely wild my jaw did drop throughout the entire clip basically we have a woman over here let's just say she's a transgender and she's trying to explain her experiences about miami and about how things actually go when she's hooking up with guys and this is such a dangerous game because she doesn't actually even tell the guys sometimes until it's just too late and just too far gone and i guess she's explaining the story where she literally almost died why even take that risk and just be honest this is a horrible thing to do to men the dangers of not telling is getting your head blown off one time i didn't tell and that situation was definitely crazy. There was this dude I was fascinated about, right? I knew he worked at this certain club. He was like a big guy at the club, whatever. Straight turned educated. He was straight? Or like oh, yeah, he, he definitely was... had girls. So things started progressing really fast. I was getting drinks. Next thing you know, I'm too drunk to drive. And so he was like, I'll take you home. We got in the truck. We went to his house. We go upstairs. Do, do, do go to the bed now before this story even continues i just want to say she literally does almost die and there's just one thing you should never do as a transgender to be honest we get to the business i'm over here like trying to act like i don't want to do nothing and it's like the thing is when you don't tell him you just hope and hope until like when it comes to that point that he accepts it he got to touch it and feel it and notice certain things and i was like oh, here it is and instantly like snap and oh! he goes to his back room and grabs like a, a AK or something. And he put an AK-47 to my head. He's like, why shouldn't I blow your head off right now? Why shouldn't I blow your head off? Oh, like, yeah. like, am I finna die today? I finally get him to calm down. And so he calms down. He's like, you know what, f it. And I'm like, f it. He goes to the back room, puts the gun away. He's like, let's just do it. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh. Welcome to Miami. There's girls like me everywhere, so please be careful. And this is a clip. I'm not sure why these people said their answers, but it was definitely one of the funniest things I have ever heard, especially the end clip. Something or someone you should stop sleeping with as an adult. Alana. Your boss. Your boss, wow. Stop me. Your boss. John. Children. Hurrah. In this last clip, this woman does have an obvious point. Basically, she's saying her experience when dating a short dude. Now, guys, if you're trying to play the victim and say, oh, I'm just too short, and you keep complaining ah. that you're too short, no woman's going to find that attractive. You're just not confident enough. I used to have a sugar daddy. He was really cool. He was 27. He made video games. All he would do is eat sugar fish and have the laziest back shots in the world. There was no issue with him. The only issue was that he was short. He just wouldn't shut the f*** up about how he was short. And I was like, dude, honestly, women don't want to date you because you were just so loudly insecure. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy of like, oh, I suck. I have to make up for it in some weird way. And women can tell when you feel insecure and then it is a turnoff because the sexiest part of you is being confident. Man, I kind of agree. Like, eh, ain't no wrong with what she said, bro. You tripping. 
This last clip is actually pretty funny about how a Japanese culture explains overaged women. Over the age of 25 are referred to as leftover Christmas cake, in reference to items that remain unsold and no longer desired after the 25th. Japanese people are very clever, and no one can come after me in the comments because I'm Asian, so you're like criticizing my culture if you criticize what I'm saying. And this last clip is pretty insane about what kind of filters are being used nowadays with all AI technology, actually. You just literally can't trust the internet anymore unless you're like hopping on Facebook. Time. This is why men have trust issues. I can't believe this is a filter. The fact that this is what filters have evolved into is actually crazy to me. I grew up with the dog filter on Snapchat, and now this, this filter gave me lip fillers. This is what I look like in real life. Are you, are you kidding me? And this last clip is absolutely stupid. I can't believe what this woman is actually saying, saying that happy endings don't count as cheating, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, everybody can have their own opinions uh -huh. about what men can do or what men can cheat. I don't agree with that at all. I think men shouldn't cheat, and this does count as cheating. But let's continue watching the clip. Find out your, your man is getting happy ending massages. Cheating or not cheating? I don't think it's cheating. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I think it's not allowed, <laughs> but I don't think it's cheating. If you're having a girl, you know, give you a nice happy ending and you know her, there's a personal connection. When it's a girl who's literally just off and there's no communication, it's just like off and out. How can we really call it cheating? But the crazy part is about this clip was actually the comment section. Some people are actually saying this girl deserves a reward and calling her Andrew Tate. Listen, I've watched a lot of Andrew Tate's content. He doesn't support men cheating, at least not anymore. And this girl doesn't deserve a reward. I think people are actually delusional if they think men are allowed to cheat. It's like, what's that thing when you put a hole in someone? Glory hole. A glory hole. It's like, how do you want to call that cheating if the guy never even knows who it is? I think you're disgusting if you're putting your hole and waiting for it to be sucked or like... You know what I mean? I think like, I don't want to date that guy either, Ooh. but I don't know if cheating is the word. I'm going to be honest. He gets a happy ending and I'll tell you what else is ending our relationship. <laughs> this goes to show that women seek out money and I guess security over love and that men actually seek out love over, over anything else. In my opinion, I think men are much more romantic than women. Girl, True if you are of age and you're not dating a man in his thirties, literally, what are you doing? I promise on my whole life, I will never waste my time with a man who's my age ever again. Since dating 30 year olds, this is what I've experienced. Number one, I don't gotta pay for shit. When I hang out with my man, do you wanna know what I have to bring? I have to bring my ID and my lip gloss. And this last clip is actually one of my favorite clips. Just to show true body positivity. A lot of people like to call fat women pretty, but in reality, this is actually pretty to me. Would you date him? And I think that just, that flicked the switch in me where I was like, okay, you watch this. Mm. And this last clip is woman's absolutely heartless, especially what she says at the end. Like, how could you do that? I cheated on you. How many times? Mm, like 17. Wait, how many different dudes? Uh, like four different guys. <laughs> and why? Why is that? Um, because he was kind of a shitty boyfriend, and I wanted to. Can't just leave him. Why didn't you leave? Him? Um, because we were so in love. And this last clip, this woman is absolutely crazy. I guess this guy is a crazy toxic ex. Thinks this man is talking to somebody else. She ends up running through his entire crib to actually verify if there's anybody there. She is a lunatic. I'm really surprised why even opened the door. Please have you. Hi. It was unlocked. I had a dream. What do you want? I had a dream that you cheated on me. No. What do you mean? Don't leave. Oh, what is this real? There's no one here, Tripper. Are you fucking? Where's God? Told you, see? There's no one here. There's no one here. There's no one here. What the fuck are you doing? Are you? What are you? Doing? I still know it's you. Lock it. And I found the worst clip on the list, guys. That's we weird. have this man over here. He ends up catching his girlfriend cheating at a Halloween party. Now, there's actually a bunch of things going wrong in this clip. Specifically, what the girl says at the end of the clip while getting caught, she's actually laughing it off. Not only that, why is this man still trying to get back with her? Like, why is he telling her to get out of the car and try to take her back home? You just don't do that. You just literally leave her alone and break up with her. That's all. When your guy friend catches his girlfriend cheating at a Halloween party. Nigga, <laughs> that's my girl, bro. <laughs> That was your Nigga, girl. Nigga, that's my girl, bro. Nigga, that's our girl now, bro. We sharing. What's up? What you doing, dog? Dog? Nigga, that's my girl, bro. <laughs> Chloe, you cheating, bro? <laughs> After two years, you cheating, bro? <laughs> she 
I don't always be <laughs> talked about and shit. Jesus. Oh, he's getting out. He's getting out. Nigga, that's my girl, bro. Where the fuck are you, bro? Nigga, that's my girl, bro. That's my girl, bro. I told you, nigga, that's my girl, bro. It's the fact that bro really lowered his tone. That's crazy. What's up, guys? So much watching. Imagine. Talking about some let's go, bro. After you catch her slanging dick on you, it's crazy. But look, if y'all enjoyed that, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Link down in the description for everything y'all want to check me out on Instagram, Twitch, Kick, all of that. Without further ado, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.